Well, on the Hunter new anime to watch, I noticed this one during my searches. Since it has theories and a dub, I decided to go and give it a watch. To be honest, it's one of the most average animes I've ever seen. But it is a good time waster. Let's see how it stands. Long ago, mankind has made the world fallen. This results the world to combine with the underworlds and the heavens, which during those years are called the Holy Era. Meet Natsuki, who is a bounty hunter rookie trying to live in this rough world. She, along with the other bounty hunters, do whatever they can to keep this world at peace and to have a good pay. Okay, let me say what my first problem was with the story. There isn't any story, except for this one foreshadow plot, but that's only gone so little. Instead, we get the slice of life mixed in with some action, and while entertaining at times, we barely get much into the lore, and the slice of life is mostly focused on the main characters, which I don't mind, but I really wanted to know more about this world they live. It pretty much had a missed opportunity here, as I could have seen a lot more creative ideas here. So basically, this is a very episodic plot with only little plot, that doesn't fully show itself till the end. Well, that is a good storytelling for ya. This really bugs me as with the concept like this, I could have seen so many awesome action stories revolving around this. But yet they choose it to be like this? So overall, while the plot is non-existent, I wouldn't say it's bad as it's simple and nothing too complicated and there is some funny moments here and there. Art. The art in this one is pretty average as expected in a 90s anime. The character designs are okay as they are designed well, mostly on the females, on how their bodies are. What's the third girl throw the wind? Woo! The backgrounds are hit or miss as while it is a ruined world to resembles an apocalypse world after what happened in the holy era, most of it has a lot of bad detail to it. It's rough around the edges making it bad at times. The movements and expressions are okay and the action is average at best. So overall, the art, I could say it's average. Music. When it comes to the score, it is your basic affair of tracks you hear in most other 90s anime. For the most part, the background music is just so generic for the 90s that it just makes it so forgettable. The only two songs that stand out is the op, And ending theme. <laughs> Which really are catchy and awesome J-pop songs. So overall, the background music is forgettable with two memorable songs which I'll still sing to whenever I hear them. English dub versus English subs. Now this is a must listen in the subs as the dub to this is just bad. The dub is so poor and dry that it just ruins it for me. Most of the cast doesn't put much in the emotions up to their voices. It's present when I hear Natsuki's voice. There. You sir are under arrest. I can't imagine what you're talking about. Those legs protruding from your mouth are undeniable proof. Dirty scum, she was a decoy. Yes sir. Really stacked, aren't you? <laughs> uh, I'm Natsuki Sasahara. I'm pretty new here too, but welcome aboard. Uh, you made me drop my place again. What do you intend to do? With my God, why? This is not how a cute cat girl sounds like. Whoever voiced her is just awful, and it doesn't capture what a cute monster girl sounds like. I swear, every time when I hear her voice, my eardrums sort of exploded. 
Huh? Hey Marcos, did you not? What? 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 I... Ugh, crap. The only one that seems to stand to me is Sakura's voice actor. Dorothy is just so awesome as her. So, in all stands, I suggest you stick to the subs, but good luck finding it as I couldn't even find it anywhere at all. If there are download leaks or something, then please tell me about it so that way I can hear, I can hear cute voices instead of this. Oh god, it hurts my ears. Characters. Characters is where the series became flat. All the characters have something that makes them interesting, but instead they are just generic characters I have already seen, but done better in others. It's just that these could have been great characters if they have taken some sort of character arc that pushes them to greater heights. But nope, instead we get to see them go through many funny slice of life things that doesn't add that much character to them. It is entertaining to see at times, but it can only go so much. The only development I see is at the end where the climax happened, but it was so pulled out of their asses that I didn't even care much of what happens, even if it's mentioned in the early parts of the series. So in short, they don't have that much in personality in them, and they are uninteresting for the most part. Hey dude. Oh what? Review is over. Aren't you gonna finish it? Wait, really? Yeah. <sighs> Alright. Alright then. Well, I could say that I was bored with this anime for the most part. It has a lot of things that are interesting, but they didn't do much about them. It it's a shame it's like this because with a little fixing of the story and characters, these could have been great this could have been great. Now, I know most of you are going to say read the manga, but the manga is on the same boat, only it does have some interesting events that happens there, but still boring for the most part. So I could say that I could only recommend this if you are really wanted to add something on your mall list, or if you're really bored and have nothing to do, or if you want a very simplistic anime to see that doesn't require thinking. Other than that, I don't highly recommend this, which is why with all the scores combined, it equals to a whole number of... 1.50 out of 5. Bad! Well, this is the Anime Wolf Gamer here, and I hope the next day will be even better. Oh, and my next video will be my, will be my opinion on what the top 5 worst episodes of, of MLP Season 1 will be. See ya! If you want to get to know me better, or if you want my opinion on a certain topic that's going on at the moment, then question away. I have a Tumblr, Twitter, and a mall account. So send me questions on all those three. Unscripted for every set of questions that I can have a lot of things to say. See you real soon.